In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to define data, how to declare variables. You can de declare your variable as byte or sign byte, word or signed word, double word or s double word. Sign byte means uh, is uh, a sign number. It could be positive, could be negative. So let me go ahead and review what's the sign number a little bit. We have covered this in chapter one. If you have assigned uh, by the computer is going to use uh, the left leftmost bit, the most significant bit to indicate a sign. So if it's one, it means it's a negative number. If it's zero, uh, is positive. So this is called a sign bit. The rest of seven bits will be used to uh, you, uh, to represent the magnitude of the number. We also learned how to use the two complement uh, format for negative numbers. For a signed uh, integer, if it's a byte, uh, you can store a value from negative 128 to positive 127. Uh, one, negative 128 is negative 2 to the 7th power. Positive 127 is 2 to the 7th power minus 1. So for a signed word, 16 bits long, uh, this is the data range. So we can see it's from neg negative 2 to the 15th power to 2 to the 15th power minus 1. So when we use variables, we can declare them as signed or unsigned numbers. So for a word, it's 16 bit long. For a double word, it's 32 bit long. Quad word is 64 bit long. And terabyte is 80 bit uh, integer. Uh, for real numbers, like a number, uh, positive 3.5, negative 10.9, they are real numbers. Uh, you can use real 4, real 8, or real 10 to declare their variables. Uh, this is how to define uh, data in assembly language. You start uh, the variable name first. Uh, your variable name should be a valid identifier. So value one is the variable name, and byte is the data type or storage size, and uh, 10 is the initial value for variable uh, value one. Uh, this is uh, other examples for different kind of variables. Value one uh, is uh, a data type byte or storage uh, size by the uh, you can store a uh, uppercase letter A and we use a single quote. Uh, value 2 is a byte uh, and it's going to hold a value 0. Uh, value 3 is uh, going to be a byte storage uh, or data type. The largest number you can put uh, into a byte is 255. Value 4 is uh, going to be a sign byte. Uh, the smallest uh, negative value is negative 128. Uh, if you have a value uh, you don't want to initialize it, uh, you can use question mark. Here we have value 6 uh, as a variable byte and uh, is uninitialized. Uh, how to define arrays? When you define an array, you start by array name. List one is uh, the array name, and the array data type of storage size is byte. Uh, here we have four elements. List two uh, has multiple lines, three lines here. So if you have a long list, you can ten lines. Uh, 
and uh, here don't use the comma here just uh, crossing second line start with bad again and start with bad again so for these two you totally have 12 numbers for these three we have bad as the data type for each the element the first one in the list is I initialize the second one is decimal 32 the third one is has a decimal 41 the last one is a binary number list four uh, is a data type byte and the first number is has a decimal the second one is has a decimal the third one is a letter use a single quote the last one is a has a decimal so you can store different kind of numbers or letters in one array how to define a string in assembly language uh, string one is by the each letter in a string is going to take a space byte so the string data type is byte storage size is byte for each letter uh, you have to use a double code to code your string and all your string should end with zero zero means no character so this is a string two also is a byte and uh, you can use a single code for a string in assembly uh, you have this flexibility also this string end with a no character zero uh, no character marks the end of a string. Uh, this is uh, true in C++. Okay. Uh, string 3 is uh, using by the storage size. Each of these letter is uh, going to take uh, a space byte. Grating is uh, another string and uh, welcome to encryption demo program. So you have a second uh, line and uh, you start with a byte and uh, you call uh, your second uh, line and end with a uh, new character. Uh, more about the strings, uh, you can create a menu. Uh, you say your menu is going to be a storage size byte for each letter. Uh, first line is a checking or count. Uh, here we have 0 DH, 0 AH. 0 DH, 0 AH together means a new line. And this is going to give you an enter key and then let you turn the line when you print. So I have two 0 DH, 0 AH in this line. Uh, that means uh, this is going to give me a uh, enter key to start a new line, also give me a blank line. So this is a menu, each line end with a new line. That means uh, each of this line will appear in a separate line. The last line in the, is uh, double code end with zero. So this whole thing is uh, part of the menu. So 0 DH means carriage return, 0 AH means line feed. We use these two together to make a line turn. You can use a DUP operator to initialize an array. Here I have an array variable one uh, each storage size is a byte the array size is 20 and uh, dup zero means initialize each of the 20 elements in this array with initial value zero second variable two also is a byte uh, each one is going to use a byte as a storage size uh, initialize uh, each of the every element with nothing. Question mark means uh, I initialize. Variable three is going to be uh, storage size byte for each one. 
and uh, the size is 4, duplicate with stack 4 times. That means your array size is 4, uh, each one is a uh, stack, so you have 4 stacks. Variable 4 is a byte, and uh, uh, this is an uh, array also. The first array element is 10, second one is 3, and then, oh no, second one is uh, three value, each one is uh, zero. So totally you have five elements in every variable four. 10, three, zero here, then 20. Okay, this is how to de define word and a sign word. Uh, same thing as before. You have to watch out uh, what's the largest number, what's the smallest number you can put into a word or a sign word. Uh, you can uh, initialize a word uh, storage size variable, uh, or you can use uh, string to initialize a, a word uh, variable. Uh, you can declare your array as a uh, word uh, data type. So my list is an array with five values. Each of these values is going to use uh, a storage word, and that means there are 16 bits long. This is another example, use array, and uh, array type is word, and uh, you have size five for this array. Each one is uninitialized. Thank you for watching this video.